Okay, this is wild. He deliberately scaled a 150 foot high bridge. New details of a dangerous rescue out of Williamson County. Welcome back to News 2 at 4. I'm Erica Francis. Hey there, I'm Eric Egan. So we go here. A strong warning tonight from first responders after an Indiana man had to be rescued from the Natchez Trace Bridge Saturday afternoon. News 2's Andy Cordan walks us through these harrowing moments. Saturday afternoon, a 62 year old man from Indiana climbed up the Natchez Trace Bridge. It's 145 feet at the very top. And I'm told by firefighters he started going up that column and got stuck just about there. This is the scene Saturday afternoon, 145 feet above Highway 96. It's a beautiful vista, but also a precarious perch that makes any rescue attempt dangerous. But once you climb up that arch and you get over that, that hump of that arch, it becomes very difficult to get back down because gravity will take over and inevitably you will slide down off that arch 30 to 50 feet and you know possibly harm yourself to the point where it may cause death. This is the staging area for several hours for special operations members from the Williamson County Rescue Squad. It's here that highly trained first responders formulate a plan to safely rescue an Indiana man who deliberately climbs up the arch, then gets stuck, putting himself and rescue crews in danger. Well, the big deal is that you're putting first responders' lives in danger unnecessarily. When you put yourself deliberately in harm's way, you make a poor choice. You, the consequences are not just to you, they could be to others, and that's exactly why we're concerned about this. For some two hours, the bridge is shut down while one firefighter approaches the man from the ground. And this highly trained first responder goes over the edge, slowly lowering himself below the bridge to the arch. Is the red rope untied from up top? After some tense moments, the Indiana man is safely lowered to the ground without incident. What was his demeanor? What did he say? I mean, he was grateful that we've got him down, but he was not uh, by any means concerned that we use multiple resources uh, within the county, time, effort, taxpayer you know, funding to get him down off the bridge. He was kind of uh, really laxing day school about it and really didn't understand what the big deal was about. The 62-year-old man was charged with criminal trespassing on a federal level. I'm also told the county is now adding up all the expenses so they can send him the bill in Williamson County. Andy Cordan, News 2. Work not for the faint of heart, Andy. Thank you so much. By the way, rescue squad officials tell Andy the cost of 25 firefighters and five pieces of equipment could potentially cost this climber thousands of dollars.